guys, it's Chantal with Wildberry Quilting, and I am super, super excited about this very plain looking little package here. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this one. I spotted these online and I had to track them down. It is, I believe it's a newer line, but it is super difficult to find. I will link in the description where I bought them from and hopefully they'll still have some in case you want the same. But oh my goodness, look. Well, first I should probably show you what the bundle looks like together like this from the side. Oh, these are just absolutely stunning and wait till you see them. So this is the first one on the top of the stack and it is just watermelons and they're growing on the vine and they're sliced open and there's these sunflowers it's just so pretty and then there's this beautiful blue it's like a i don't know you'd call it a there's cornflower, cornflower blue in there, and there's just a combination of very beautiful blues. I think it's navy, and there's these little, these little bumblebees. Oh my gosh. And then these large, I think they're peony flowers. Oh, oh and I can't forget the butterfly. Look at the detail on him. So pretty. And... Ooh, look at how rich these colors are. They're, they're very much like fall, but I don't know. It's like midnight fall and you got the honeybees. And then there's these beautiful raspberry plants and these little birds. Oh my gosh. This fabric is just absolutely stunning. <laughs> I think it's called bountiful and I forget exactly what the name of the designer was but it looked like <clears throat> I know it had beetle in the name mustard beetle that's what it was look at this this is a different colorway of those watermelons and it's just so cute and Who is the designer I, or the fabric house I think is birch but they are not easy to find they I think they are an American company but even here they are just not that easy to track down these particular this particular line and I don't know if that's because it's so new or if that's just because not that many places have it but if this is a line that you like it is not one to sit and wait on because you will not find it easily as time goes by look at this it's got little figs fig trees and oh, i just love this so much i love the variety of all of the different fruits and and Oh, the plant, them being on the plants themselves just makes it so cool. We've got some lemons. I also love the fact that we've got the little bees and I don't see any butterflies on this particular one, but I just love seeing that. The insects all in there too and everything. Oh, oh wow. So this is that one with the large peonies, what I'm gonna call peonies anyways, but in a different colorway. And you can see the butterflies. I just love this. The, these colors are just, they're very saturated, but then they're also very, you know that setting on your camera that's like, I think it's called sepia. I might be saying that wrong. But that's what it reminds me of is 
just looking at things through that vintage summer lens is how the only way I can describe that. I love it. <laughs> oh, and then we've got more of the lemons, but I guess there's actually oranges and limes as well, which you can tell in this one because it's got all of the colors. Oh my goodness. I just love it. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying through the whole video how much I love it because I do. I, I can't help it. These fabrics are just outstanding and they are so soft. Um, they feel very much like art gallery fabrics where they're that very, I think it's called poplin is what they compare it to. And that's very much what this feels like. I also think these are all supposed to be organic fabrics. So we've got pomegranates and the figs. And there's a pear down here. <laughs> Very beautiful. Ooh, we got a different one. <laughs> Cherries and strawberries. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and look at the flowers. Oh, just feels my heart. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I hope I'm giving you guys a good look at these fabrics because. Oh, they they were beautiful online, but they are even more stunning in person, I think. And I'm I'm so this is the first time I'm seeing them in person, so I am very I'm looking at them with you. And oh, I am just floored. They are so beautiful and <laughs> get enough this is gonna have to oh I don't know when I'm gonna oh I have to make something with this like right away because I need to just cuddle with this fabric <laughs> is that weird that I want to cuddle with fabric I don't know but I do I want to cuddle with it it needs some snuggles <laughs> I absolutely adore it every one of them it just has such a such a rich vintage summer vibe and oh, I, I can't get enough of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for a backing for this quilt. It's going to have to be something special. I'm not even sure hmm, which of these I would pick if I decide to go with one of these for a backing. I don't even know what I would pick because Every one of them is beautiful. I don't know. There are some that I prefer, definitely. But me picking out my favorites would probably only narrow it down not even to half. Because <laughs> there's too many that are just too beautiful. I hope I gave you a good look at that last one. I'm just sitting here talking and not really paying attention to what I'm showing you on camera because I'm just so excited. I'm really, really excited about this one. This is probably my new favorite line. Oh my gosh, can I even say that? There's so many beautiful fabrics. I don't know that I can say that something's my favorite because then there's also that really beautiful line that came out with the, with the fall fabrics from, uh, like the Indian blanket and oh my gosh, what was that even called? Now I can't remember. <laughs> uh, forest frolic. That one was absolutely stunning. This one. Do I like it more? I might like it more. I don't know. <laughs> this is wow. Okay. So I just can't get over that. And there, let's see, let me count how many there are in this line. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 16 fabrics in the line. And, you know, it, it's a good size line, but it's not huge like, like some of, you know, Lori Holt, for example, she has very large lines and there's a lot of others that do as well. This is interesting though, because it doesn't have so many, it does have blenders. Like, I guess this would be considered one of the blenders for this line, but they're so ornate and, and intricate that it almost doesn't even count as a blender. It seems like it's a standalone fabric all on its own. So I don't know if I'll choose to use some solids in the quilt or not. Obviously, I'm probably going to have a white solid in there, but I don't know whether I'll use any others. It's another one that I think would kind of count as a blender in this one. But I don't know. This has got me, it's going to have to be a really, really special pattern for me to use this fabric. Oh my gosh. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please put them in the description box below because, or not the description box, that's where I put stuff. Please put it in the comments down below because whew, this is going to take me some time to think about and find the perfect pattern for, and I'm going to need all the help I can get. <laughs> Again, I'm going to link the Etsy shop that I found this in down in the description box. So hopefully if you're wanting the same, the same line, you would, you will be able to find it there. I don't know how many she'll have left. So again, I wouldn't wait on it. Okay. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Bye.